You might have seen a video making rounds showing about a thousand people in Germany, in Berlin, howling and growling like dogs and attempting to bark. I mean, this was at an actual railroad station because reasons. You know, because they think that they they can be degenerate and no one's going to stop them. But, I mean, and the thing is, it's of course it's absurd, but only mildly more than we're getting used to. But before I elaborate on that point, let me just go ahead and show you this video of what, I don't know, what we kind of have to live with now, of what's becoming normal. I mean, right now it's sort of like slightly outside of normal, but again, not by too much. Let's look. <laughs> Okay, that that's plenty. So, uh, the thing is, when you're looking at this, like it's easy to just say these people are degenerate and they're wrong, and they can never be dogs. And of course, all of those things are actually true. But here's my point: like a man is no more a dog than he is a woman. They're both false. They're both errors. And I think that. We, what we have is an sort of incrementalism of errors and you have this in all kinds of different situations from like from heresies to tyrannies you have this incrementalism that causes people not to act because it's only a little bit worse than it was before and that's the thing so like for example we started off you could argue by being unable to to say what man is what makes man special and because we have you know, an increasingly secular society, we're no longer able to answer that ancient question, right? Quid sit homo, what is man? And so we're unable to see man's value outside of his production. Everything about uh, a man is reduced to his output. What is he producing in terms of taxes, in terms of labor? Um, this is it, this is who he is. And it's kind of analogous to, it makes man analogous to an object, like, a DVD player, let's just say. If it doesn't work, one might argue that it's not really a DVD player anymore because it doesn't play DVDs. It's It has become a paperweight. Man isn't like that. Um, man has value no matter what. Man is still man even if he can't work, right? Even if he can't drive, even if he can't do the regular things that he could at his optimal health, he's still a man. But in the secular understanding of man, it's not like that at all. Man is simply a producer. And so all education is designed to make him into a producer. And you hear this both on the left and on the right, by the way, this idea that all of our education should be around the idea of how do we, how do we get more producers. But because we can't define man anymore, or say why he's different from mere animal, we very quickly, we struggle to see men and women as gendered creatures as well, as gendered beings. We instead just kind of, well, we, men want to be like women, women want to be like men, and you kind of have this like androgynous, androgynous um, being of utility instead, where we're saying there's no differences between them, they can all just do the same thing, because Again, it's like this extension. So all this is like gradual incrementalism that you see. And those claiming to be a race other than what reality shows that they are, aren't any more unreasonable than those claiming to be the opposite sex, or really aren't any more unreasonable than those claiming to be some kind of animal, because they're all wrong. Right? Ultimately, when you break it down, that's the truth. They're all denying who they are fundamentally, and they are wrong, they are in error. And those who most embrace the, the messages of modernity, most ardently, are those who are most out, outside of, the, of lockstep with reality. Okay, so for example, those who are barking in the video, which side do they vote for if they vote? Seriously, you know their politics. You you know what religion they're not. 
right? I mean, there may be all kinds of different branches of I'm pagan or I'm I'm spiritual but not religious, you know, <laughs> all this kind of different junk, but you know what they're not, right? We don't have to ask these questions because we see the answers in their lived behavior. This is what I mean by we're dealing with this incrementalism of error. And so this is, this is I, saying this is going to spread seems like I'm, you know, the prophet after the fact, but you know, it, it already has spread, but it will continue to get worse because I don't see any sort of attempt to fix the fundamental misunderstandings on, on a major scale. Instead, the fundamental misunderstanding about the nature of man is being reinforced over and over. And that's why we have these different conversations that are spreading about whether or not we should engage in euthanasia when a person is too sick or too depressed or costs too much to keep alive. It's, these are all different manifestations of the very same um, failure to see man as, as a creature of God with unique value and dignity. So it all just kind of fails right after there and and here we are. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like it. Also, I have other videos that you might enjoy. I have links in the description down below as to how you can support this work. So thank you so much.